So about two years ago, I started this whole no plan B journey thing that you guys know about because I was living off of my self-doubts, which minimized my potential to grow, to experience life, and pursue what was really important to me at the time. And now, almost two years later, I'm experiencing almost the exact same thing. Coincidence? I don't know. It's probably just life. Some of you guys might be wondering, so the journey didn't work? And no, it's not that. The journey worked. It worked really, really well. It actually changed my life, for a matter of fact, and completely reinvented my outlook on how to live a meaningful and fulfilling mm -hmm. life. The journey proved to me that we individually hold more power than we believe. And once we consciously tap into it, it opens all the doors that were once closed. So yeah, the journey worked. The journey worked really, really well. But the reason why I feel almost the exact same way I felt two years ago is because the journey doesn't just end after six months. You must practice what you learn during the journey for a lifetime because the no plan B journey itself is a mindset. I do have to say though, it feels heavier this time because as you know, you grow and more gets added on to life, like more stress, more pressure. And simultaneously, you feel like you have less time as you age because it's true, you do. Our time horizon shortens, never lengthens. And there's just more weight on one's shoulder. And listen, I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy here or to complain. It's just life. I'm simply stating a reality we all collectively experience in some type of way. Despite feeling this way though, there is a difference in how I view myself this time around compared to two years ago. The last time, I felt very lost and doubtful and afraid to commit to a path I really wanted to pursue. But this time around, I feel more grounded, more committed, and more at peace with the idea of doubt. Like before, I would just engage with these limited beliefs and let them eat me alive. But now I just let them be because thoughts will always exist to some degree. I don't think it's it's not possible to completely wipe out everything. Like I believe if we lacked doubt, then we are either unaware of our stagnation or we succumb to complacency, which both sound terrifying. So I would pick doubt over those two options any day. But yeah, this time around, I just don't engage with those thoughts anymore. Instead, I focus on things I do have and things that can help me move forward. And this leads into my next point. When you take the time to understand yourself and to invest in your mental fortitude, you learn how to build mental systems that help you decrease the lead time it takes to recover from setbacks. For example, I would remind myself, instead of freaking out, let's figure it out. If you've done this before, you can do it again. And if you've never done this before, you can still figure it out because life is always figure outable. So when you have these mental systems in place, you are able to bounce back much faster and effectively. If you were to have no systems in place and allowed your feelings and emotions to just run uncontrollably. And when you have no systems in place or have yet to do the work to set these systems, then you are hurting nobody else but yourself because you're robbing yourself of the ability and opportunities to fully tap into your power and potential and we don't want that we do not want that also guys i'm recording audio on my phone i'm not trying to be rude here just want to let you guys know anyway so this time around yes i feel similar things but i feel it differently i think before i would have been just mentally crushed by what i'm going through right now wait no gotta give myself credit back then that was pretty strong <laughs> but what i'm trying to say here is that this is just another hump that i'll get over so it's no big deal i also saw this quote the other day that i really liked let me share it with you it's on my lock screen actually. Your life right now is a result of what you did a year ago. Your life a year from now will be a result of what you do right now. Act accordingly. Wow, that just made you think, didn't it? It made me think. It made me question my whole entire existence. It sent me into an existential crisis actually. I'm just kidding. I was so dramatic. No, but really though, I was, I was crisising. There are three reactions when a person hears this quote. Number one, I am the problem. <laughs> I can't believe I'm the reason why my life is the way it is right now. It was all for nothing. <laughs> Number two, yeah, life is good right now, and it was all thanks to me. And last but not least, number three, I recognize I am the problem, but I am also the solution. So moving forward, how do I change my current reality so that in a year, I will look back and think the person that I am today? You probably had one of those three reactions, and many of you probably can relate to the last one just like me. And I love this quote because it can speak to all of us and it's very telling of how you feel about your life right now based on how you react. Also my buddies, I feel like we haven't had a chit chat, sit down type of video in a hot minute. So let's do that real quickly. I wanna update you guys on what's been happening in life because some pertains to you. So if you've been keeping up with my content, then you know that I've been building the No Plan B Academy. And you might be wondering, Lizzie, what is the No Plan B Academy? What is that? It is an online academy that is parallel to No Plan B Journey. And for anyone that's new, the No Plan B Journey is a six month self-development journey where you pursue your plan A fearlessly. So in the No Plan B Academy, I'm gonna teach you everything I learned during the No Plan B Journey 
and more. And what I mean by that is that I've been in the self-development personal growth game for six plus years now. Like I've been in it for a hot minute and I have learned so much about personal growth and self-development and I wanna share with you guys because knowledge should be shared. That is the premise of my whole entire online community and the power club i'm currently building the academy from the ground up right now and it's been a very fulfilling and interesting time i've learned so much about course creation and providing value in a way that is transformative with that being said i would love for you guys to check it out once it is out i'll keep you guys updated on launch date and if you want to get first looks and first access to the course then join the waitlist i'll link it down below again you'll get first access and first looks into the course when it's out also i know you guys love my book recommendations and i have one for you Zero to One by Peter Thiel. This book is about finding the zero to one idea and making a positive impact in doing so. If you're someone that's interested in business, in tech, in startup culture, in entrepreneurship, this book is for you. It taught me so much about what it takes to run a successful business and I am certainly gonna read this again. Okay, this video has been very chit chatty but I want to answer a question before I let you guys go. Okay, someone asked, what follows successful journeys? especially as someone who figured out that perfection itself is imperfect. Great question. Also, I should do this more often. I should end my videos with a question. Submit your questions down below. <laughs> okay, this is a really great question. And first of all, congrats on successfully completing your journey. Okay, so what actually follows after a successful journey is to start again. And it's not that you have to start the no plan B journey again or the absolute journey again. What I mean is that Personal growth is a continuous journey. It never really stops. So what you do is start again, take on new challenges, overcome different fears, continue to work on yourself. The only difference between each stage or each journey is that you begin at a greater magnitude and on a higher pedestal every single time. And I always say there's two sides to it. Number one is that you'll need to continuously work on yourself. Like I mentioned already. Because yes, after the journey, you'll be more confident, hopefully, less doubtful, and more secure about who you are. You're now better at prioritizing progress over perfection. You know how to take a risk, and you know how to think in systems to help you solve problems. However, this does not mean that you are invincible. You'll still have to deal with doubt. You'll still struggle with perfectionism, with taking risk, and being in control of your emotions. These struggles don't magically go away because you worked on them. And the reason for that is because we will always have to deal with problems and situations that will test us in life. And while you're not going to be invincible, you will be strong because you've dedicated an ample amount of time in honing valuable skills that are going to help you solve problems in life. So with these particular skills, you'll find it much easier and maybe even enjoyable to solve difficult problems. Problems that might have crushed you before, but won't anymore. So problems never go away and life doesn't get easier, but your skills and experiences will make it easier for you to solve these problems. And this is the flip side of it. Like yes, there'll be things that you'll need to continuously work on, but having completed a successful journey, you are now better equipped to overcome these adversities. So that's the truth. You won't be invincible or perfect, but you are so capable of achieving the things that you want to achieve because you've done it before. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I had a great time chatting with you guys, especially the little Q&A at the ending. And again, if you're interested in the No Plan B Academy, waitlist down below. I'd love for you to get first access to the Academy once it is out. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.